and I managed to cover the cost to leave my job and like I managed to make in one hour what takes me like two and a half months to make on my day job. Hello guys, my name is Domogoy and today we are doing the second episode of my podcast and today guest is Miodrag Milenkovic, uh, my dear friend uh, from uh, Serbia, so uh, from Balkan, let's say. So uh, Miodrag, can you tell me uh, more about your affiliate story, uh, introduce yourself and similar things? Yeah, sure. It's nice to be here and it's nice to see people like it's hard. It was. It would be hard for me to imagine two guys from Balkan to like do a podcast about affiliate marketing because there aren't a lot of people, as you know, in this space from our like from our countries. So it's pretty cool, first of all. And to my story, well, it's been quite a journey, and I've been into affiliate marketing. And when I say I've been, I mean. I've been familiar with affiliate marketing for like two, almost two and a half years, but like first, first year and a half of my journey was basically diving into a rabbit hole that is affiliate marketing, where I was like trying to go from free stuff on YouTube, then to free courses, then to paid courses, a bit like less expensive, a bit more expensive. I was just learning, 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 getting into familiar like problems that many affiliates encounter, which are like, I had shiny object syndrome, I had perfectionism, I was procrastinating and I wasn't taking action. So I was doing all of that in the first year and a half, not doing anything concretely. And it wasn't until last July and August that I finally started slowly moving the needle, meaning I started doing, not just learning, and I started first with my podcast, as you as you are familiar with, and I dove into some other stuff. But then again, I had I was start, I started taking action, so that was a bit better. But I still had shiny object syndrome, meaning instead of like consuming ten th- things at once and thinking, oh, this will help me, this will help me, I then started doing ten things at once, and I was like, I did podcast, I did. YouTube, I did Facebook group, I tried Instagram and I wanted even Pinterest and TikTok and I did like course on YouTube and email marketing and I was like all over the damn place not knowing what I was doing. I was like on my day job for eight hours or I would lose around 10 with like going back and forth and I was working on my business when I had time I would try to squeeze the dream in as well and I was like working 16, 17 hour days for two months and I barely I got some money but it wasn't like comparing to how much I worked it was like nothing and I was like something is not working like I'm taking action I'm consistent I publish every day I do everything that I say and yet like I'm pulling out 105 or 10 hour weeks and I'm exhausted and I barely made any money Sure enough, around this year, I had that like wake up point where I was like, something's not working. I'm doing a lot of the stuff that they are telling me, but something is missing. And sure enough, I started interviewing these like high ticket affiliate marketers in my group and in my podcast. And they were like, yeah, well, like high ticket marketing is the way to go. Like you pretty much do the same work and you make much more money. And I was like, that kind of makes sense, but like, isn't it harder? Isn't it? And they're like, it's just different audience. Like you basically do the similar work to sell hundred buck product. And I was selling YFA back in the day uh, and thousand bucks product. It's just the different audience that is buying it. It's like selling BMW and maybe some cheaper car. Like there is audiences for both. It's not harder to sell it. It's just different people buy, buy BMW. And I was like, that makes sense. And uh, by the time I forgot to mention this, but I was already in debt, like five over five thousand dollars, which, as you know, in Serbia, it's like huge money. I work on my job for three hundred bucks and I was already like over the head in debt and in everything. And I was like, damn, but I knew I knew the game. Like if you want to dive into high ticket, you need to invest. 
And I was like, instead of what I refer to as the broken mindset, and for your listeners, if you haven't read Rich Dad Poor Dad, go read the book. And uh, Kiyosaki in that book talks about like rich people don't say I can't afford it. They ask, how can I afford it? So sure enough, I was thinking, how can I afford this money for this mastermind? And I, even though I said like week before, I'm never refinancing this loan again. I sure enough did. <laughs> I took the money and I invested again. And it's been two and something months since that point. And this Monday, actually, we are recording this at Friday. This Monday, I'm leaving my job. And I've been going for it for over two damn years, man. It's been a struggle. It's been hard juggling between, like, job and a business and your, like, social life and everything. It's insane. And I guess this two and a half months, even though I wasn't working as much because I had like some personal issues and whatnot. So maybe I was working for one month out of those two and a half and I managed to cover the cost to leave my job and like I managed to make in one hour what takes me like two and a half months to make on my day job. And I know like people from US, they would probably need much more money. But the other side of the coin is like they have much more opportunity. They have much more money to invest in. They can network with people around and we don't have that luxury over here. So it's been a difficult journey, but I'm happy that I've been through it. Yeah, like quite a quite an impressive story, man. Like, uh, uh, is it a secret uh, how much you're earning uh, in figures or something? Uh, it's not a secret. Like I have I made like in three days around almost two thousand dollars and I have with this high ticket program, I have around 12 people lined up to buy from me, which would result in around between like seven and ten thousand dollars. So that was like with one month of active work. I wasn't working for the other month, month and a half. I was more like learning and I had like issues with my grandma and like with Corona and all of this stuff. And for one month, Without me being a salesperson, I never had sales experience before. I was never a closer. And to get those results, it's, it, I've been more than happy like with those so far. And just the beginning, like I'm, I'm just developing another skill set and I find it even easier and easier now. It's, it's just rolling. So like you are, uh, let's say, five figures a month now. 10K. Well, like. not yet. Not well, yet. Not Maybe yet, four. But... Not yet, but striving towards that. Yeah, but uh, in uh, on in Balkans, that's like you're rich. Yeah, in our in our space, it's six figures. <laughs> like with dinners, it's it's Seven. almost six figures. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, do you have any goals uh, till the end of this year? You mean income wise? Um. You can say it in commas, you can say it like, I don't know, maybe you want to help, let's say, 10 people till the end of the years to reach 10K or, or something. Okay, as far as my personal, I want to go around maybe 5,000 consistently every month. And again, as you said, like in Serbia, that's like, I don't know, it's like to give a, a comparison with US people, it's around... Uh, well, eight times more, it's around like $30,000 in US. It's equivalent to something like that. It's insane. And to your question, well, basically for whoever comes to my program, uh, well, it's not my program, it's a program that I promote, but I'm additionally offering support to, to those people. So each one of them, like my goal is not, because we all have different income goals. Like for me to leave my job, for you to leave your job and from someone who is like working in US for $7,000, it, it's different. Uh, it's different what's called cost. But my goal would be to help people leave their job because I was like super, super frustrated with mine. Uh, I felt like stuck. I didn't feel free and freedom is one of my highest values. And like for, for other 
entrepreneurs as well. And I've been so frustrated. Like actually yesterday was five years since I started working in this factory. And it's been like chaotic. It's been really hard emotionally, physically, uh, mentally in every way. And I just want to help people who are unsatisfied on their jobs to leave it as soon as possible in a couple of months. I know it's possible uh, if you have the right strategy, the right mindset and uh, the right tactics. It's possible for everyone, whether you need one thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars. You can all that do, do all of that organically through Facebook. You don't even need a Facebook group, although I do recommend having one. But you can do it with Facebook profile and Messenger, and that's it. I know people making six figures, multiple six figures with just Facebook and Facebook profile, so it's very much possible. I'm on that on that journey. I know others who are on it. I know others who are crushing it with it as well. So it's been my goal is more to help them live whatever that number is, whether it's two thousand or eight thousand. But I would love to help people leave their job in the shortest amount of time possible. Yeah, that's that's really kind of you. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, what is for you, what is the most important thing in affiliate marketing and what is, what is the biggest struggles people are having there, like when they are starting? It would depend on where they, who is the who are the first people they come across learning from? There are many struggles over the industry. I guess thinking short term, thinking you can earn quick buck with it, thinking it's like get rich quick scheme. I guess that's all encompasses in the mindset problem, like how they're thinking about it, how they're approaching it. Second problem is there are so many men I, I actually made pdf 41 fatal mistakes affiliates are making like and that that was like eight months ago i know them more now so i know a lot of struggles and i've been through a majority so i also talk from experience uh shiny object syndrome is one of them uh perfectionism but if you boil it down i don't think and that's not just for affiliate marketing but it is also the case they don't develop fundamentals and fundamental skills they need. Like people who are successful are not successful because they found that magic program or they found that magic platform or they got lucky. Usually they grow their skills, uh, which I refer to three fundamental skills are sales, marketing, and brand and audience building. I think that's important in your business, but it's also really important in affiliate marketing. Like if you have those three things, whole economy can tremble down, but you would, even if you're not okay at that moment, you will rise because you have that fundamental building blocks and everything else, like every new tactic, every new funnel, whatever, if you have that support of fundamentals, it's gonna, be much more fluent a lot of people are trying to like we enter this space and i enter for that reason like let's make money online and the fastest easiest way possible and that's like flawed thinking i think better questions like how can i be a person of so much value to the marketplace that i can earn five or ten thousand dollars a month with affiliate marketing like i think that's much more empowering question to ask and it will get you down the better road so i'm always cheering like for fundamentals like learn how to actually market yes you are an affiliate but affiliate marketer like you need to learn how to market that's like non-negotiable you need to learn how to sell we are selling every day selling ideas selling you don't have to have your own product we are always selling like i'm selling the story on selling now like we are selling at every moment and brand and audience building. I think this is crucial, especially in affiliate marketing. It's also crucial when you have your own product, but in affiliate marketing, as you know, we are promoting other people's products. And if you just get them through and get the money, that's good, but kind of short-term thinking. What I'm also up for is building that audience and brand. And later on, you can like help, help, help them with similar issue monetize and you can leverage that audience again and again every time you help them every time you earn money you don't have to always seek new people 
imagine if you have, I don't know, 50,000 or 500,000 subscribers on YouTube, like they are there and every time you promote something you will get, you don't need to pay for ads or go to catch new people. Like if you have that audience, I think it's really important and your brand like to be actually recognized in the space. So those are three of the fundamentals I love to preach about a lot, regardless of the products you're promoting. And once you have these kind of values, like when you value this long-term game, you will also probably promote products that are helping people long-term. It won't be like get rich quick schemes. I, I made a post about this recently where I talked about like, I was looking for affiliate product that can help my people that has low front end offer with good high back end. And I talked to some people and they were sharing with me some links and those things they were sharing were mostly like get rich quick schemes. Like you do nothing and earn commissions. And first I don't want to work with people who don't want to work anything and earn money. Second, I don't believe in this kind of products. Like even if I'm not saying you can't make money, you probably can. But when that program is shut down, you you have no skills. You're going to be in search for another shiny product and you don't have that skills. And I'm always like, be reliant on yourself. The more you grow and your skills, the more will your income grow, your name and everything else, your influence in proportion to that. Yeah, I will agree with you, especially with the part that, uh, well, for me, organic traffic is always better than uh, paid ads or something because it's free and it's like warm traffic so or let's say hot traffic and uh, it's much more easier to sell like that so uh, what do you think uh, when people uh, are watching this podcast uh, uh, what is the best advice you can give them uh, if they started like just now think long term that's first thing i'm being i'm big on that i i just spoke with a guy and he wanted, he's in like bad situation, doesn't have money and wants money as soon as possible. And I was like, then don't do affiliate marketing right away. If you need money, like if you're desperate, if you don't have a job, if you don't have an income, if you need that money fast and you don't have the following, like if you have following, you can just email your list and with affiliate product and make some money. But if you're newer and you don't have that following, uh, if you're desperate for money, like in big need, better go do freelancing or something like that, then invest that money into affiliate marketing because affiliate marketing, it takes time, it takes energy, it takes money to invest in and to learn. Now, in my opinion, what's the quickest way? And this is like big misconception. This is what I have struggled with and I see a lot of people struggle with and now they, they became my target audience, which is funny, which is who I was like a couple of months back. Uh, a lot of people are selling affiliate marketing as this like passive automation thing, which in a long run it can be, but it's like a long way ahead, meaning a couple of